back to the channel. Today we're going to continue part 2 of this composite that we started a while back. We're going to be adding some meteors, smoke, blast, and any other type of VFX assets you want. And if you need some of these assets, I've uploaded them to the channel. You can find them on the playlist section and you can find them on the free VFX assets section. And if you haven't seen part one of this tutorial, you can also find it on this section here. Today we're going to be using some of these assets here. You can download them and cut them and use them as, as you need. Let's get right into it. First thing we're going to do is duplicate this layer. We're going to name this one the main background. And this one, pretty much what you're going to need to do is rotoscope. And what I'm trying to do is, you might have to turn this layer off the super comp layer, just so you don't see all these effects. And if you need to go ahead and lower your resolution. So what I'm trying to do is add some meteors coming from the back of the buildings, some on the front and ending like here in the back of this building. So to do that, you're gonna need to rotoscope these buildings out. The way you would rotoscope them is double click on this layer, go to your rotoscope, and just draw on the building you're trying to get and just fix the roto as as you go. Alt click to deselect the X section. And if you have version two of it, go ahead and choose. And technically you're just gonna have to rotoscope this whole this whole clip. I'm not going to rotoscope it, I have other options. I'm going to uh, use a plugin called Composite Brush. I did a tutorial on it and you can also find that on the After Effects sections of the playlist. Basically it's a pixel based plugin. It's going to delete the same pixels or similar pixels to what I'm choosing right now. So. Uh, since the sky is mainly blue, I'm going to try to get rid of it. Hopefully it won't affect some of these colors since they share the same background colors. I'm going to go ahead and click. Make sure you, on, you click on this. This is highlighted. If not, this might move. Go ahead and start choosing the, the sky. If you have this plugin, go ahead and do it this way. What I'm trying to do is have uh, this building rotor out so, so you can see it's pretty precise the way it's choosing the colors. And it doesn't have to be too perfect as some of these effects won't really go down here. Mainly I want this section to be as accurate as possible in this here. And if you don't have to get everything perfect on this first one, as we'll be duplicating and doing another one. So over here. I'm going to deselect some of these colors. Just this here. Go ahead and hold. Alt and click. Okay, this is fine. So as long as this this Okay, so that's fine. Go back and I'm gonna name this 
building mass. This is on the left side. Okay, so now I'm going to change to, to stencil alpha. I'm going to turn this layer off for a little bit. And if this is black, you can always choose the transparent one. Okay, so we have that rolled out. So now I'm going to add a meteor. Okay, so once you find the meteor, go ahead and drag it in between the building mask and the main building. Put it in between these two layers. And this should be the top one. I'm going to forward a little bit just as the meter comes out. And I am trying to place it up here. So the the meter is gonna come it's gonna come from up there and it's gonna go down and crash behind the building. And after it crashes there will be an explosion. So once you have that you can have it start as you want if you wanted to start here or we're just gonna have it start right there. Like the person caught the moment right when it was coming. So when you play it, it'll go. Crash behind. Okay, if if you parent this, it's most likely not gonna look the same as it's doing right now. So you don't need to really parent it. If you parent it, it's just it's too slow for the camera movement, so it'll stay behind the camera. We're gonna make it seem as it's a fast meter going down, so. Just leave it like that. It'll go ahead and crash back there. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and create a second we're gonna duplicate this layer this one I'm going to call building okay. and I'm also trying to have some meters come behind this sign right here So since I don't have a clean rotor brush of the building, it's going to look like it's going in the front of the building. So I want it, it's going to look like it's going in the back and then it's going to go in the front. I mean you can do that if you want the meteor to sort of like destroy the building and make it look like it's getting destroyed but for this occasion we're just going to have the meter go behind the building so since I wasn't able to get a good good key of this because it it'll also bring back some of the other colors and so we're gonna create a duplicate layer and then we'll just add a mask I'll show you how we're going to do that. So go ahead and put on the right mask and controls effects. We're going to bring back some of these colors. Just make sure you highlight this, Alt, and click. So you can see it's bringing back some of this sky. But 
I need the building to come back. It doesn't matter. We'll fix that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is fine right here. This is fine because these two meters are gonna go this way here, so it'll be okay. This, how we're gonna do this now we have this okay the building it's rotor out perfectly now we're gonna create a mask go ahead and either get the pen or just click on the rectangle make sure it shows that the square with that circle in the middle that means it's a mask if you see the star that means it's a shape so you'll be trying to shape and we're gonna draw a mask on this section here and we're gonna draw a mask right here Okay, so once you have that, go ahead and bring out another meter asset. I'm going to bring number 8, put it in between. Put it on top of meter. As long as it's under, below this, below this layer, you'll be alright. Okay, so these meters, we're going to have them start from right here. Okay, so we have that meter coming behind that building. And I want it to be behind this. There's two. There's two meters coming. One comes after the other one, so we'll have this come right here. It depends how you want it to look. It doesn't have to be like this. But if you want it to look like this at this moment, go ahead and pair that to the null so it stays in place. Okay, but I want it to be under this, so it look, it's behind this sign right here, so I'm going to move it a little bit down. Okay, so... So this is how it looks as of now. Okay, and since we also brought back some colors with this mask now this layer it's not visible so we're also gonna put a mask out there subtract it and you should see the the meter again okay so once you subtract that second mask you'll be able to see the meter again Ok, 
Okay, so you see, you can see the this line here. So you can do it. Um, okay, go to the building mask left. Now go here and bring back some of those colors. Okay, once you bring those colors back, go ahead and turn this layer back on. Okay, so this is how it looks as of now. Once you bring back that building, you won't be able to see the, that line. So it looks like it's coming from behind the building. Okay, so when this meteor crashes, let's say it goes here, takes a couple of seconds, one, two, three, four, five, and then there's a a quick pause and then there's a sudden explosion. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add this explosion here in between these two buildings, the mask, the, the right and the left. I also want some smoke, so I'm gonna go ahead and add one of the, one of the blast assets. And I already have it here, it's number seven. The blast is gonna be behind the, the explosion. Okay, 
so we have this blast, we're going to go ahead and scale it up. So technically I want this to sort of be with the uh, explosion. Just so you see also black smoke behind it. This has to go down a little bit. Start right there. So first goes the black cloud of smoke. Then comes the fire. Make it look more like an explosion. You know, you could play around with this, see how. You know, because here we go with the the meteor coming down there it goes behind let's assume there's a building back there didn't take long before it got hit maybe I should just sort of do it right there okay so there goes the explosion And maybe right when it gets here, you could add another one since this one comes. But then you might not need to, so it's up to you. Okay, so once we add that, let's go ahead and play it again, see how it looks. Another thing I wanted to do was to add an explosion as if something had already happened before he started recording this person, this person started recording. So as this bus is going back there, I want to show another explosion. So I'm going to show this here. And you can put the explosion just so you know which one it is. Let's go ahead and scale it up a little bit. You know, you could play around with this however you want. You could have an explosion just, just to make it look more realistic as you have these explosions behind these buildings. You know, that's what makes it look more realistic. So I'm just gonna have something come up from up here. So let's go ahead and pair this with no four, so it doesn't move. Same thing, we're gonna go ahead and slow this down. Time, time stretch. Let's go ahead and do 130, 125. So now we have that explosion happening behind that building. There goes the second one. And this explosion is going to be in front of this other explosion just because of the depth. Because that meter crashed a little bit more further back. And you might start seeing that you're seeing some of this sky in front of the other. And that's because we brought back some of those colors. That was one of the reasons I kind of just didn't want to put this second one, but you know, you can always go back and just, just either add a mask in here. So it's from this, you can add a mask on this one here and it'll cover this. So let's go ahead and add a mask. You use your pen. Go ahead 
and subtract that mass. Just move that mask a little bit right there, so that's, we should be okay with that. Okay, so that looks better. Okay, so once you add that mask, you'll be able to hide more of the sky without affecting these other colors. Because that's the thing with the composite brush. If I try to bring back some of these, then it'll it'll look weird over here in this part. So that's why we're adding those masks. So you have that explosion happening as the bus is passing. And it just looks more realistic to me because without that then it just looks simple so we're trying to make it realistic like there it's something going on in the city back here even though nobody seems to be worried about it it's just a normal day in the lane right so and you can add more meteors this is just how you would be able to add them now that you have everything rotted out all the buildings so you know, you can use some of the laser effects to have this spaceship shoot lasers. And so now that we have these layers, and you can change some of these blend modes, you can change the opacity. This is just so you could add it and have an idea how to add these. So, so you can see this fire it's behind this building so little details like that will help to sell this effect and you'll be able to do that with the roto but sometimes it's it can take long but with composite brush it's just so fast okay so this is how you would add some of these meter assets and once you're ready to integrate them with SuperComp, you would have to go back and organize the layers by like order the way we have them here. So you need to go and add these layers with a plus mark, such as we have the main background and I need meter seven and eight under there. So let me go to meter seven. So here we have meter seven, bring it down. Put it on top of main background, meter eight. Okay, so once you add these, you should see everything play normal with SuperComp. If not, you'll see these layers on top. So you do need to put them in order once you but before that you would need to turn this off so same here if you want to add some of these effects as we did on the first tutorial you can go ahead and do that here although i don't really see the need to add it since these effects are far away you won't be able to notice it okay so that's how it looks and if we go back here we can notice that this mask is going over the top. Okay, let's go ahead and delete this mask. And we're gonna create a better mask that goes around this building. So now the smoke is behind here. So go ahead and delete these.
Okay, so there we go. We fixed that. Let's So that takes care of that. Um, so that looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and play it again. Okay, so now everything is behind the building. So. I am noticing that line again. So as you can see, it brought back some of those colors. So as, as you can see, it's cat and mouse game. Okay, we're gonna duplicate this one here. The left one and duplicate and we're gonna bring back some of those colors on this side okay and the last two go ahead and click on this layer once you duplicate it go ahead and click on your pen just create a mask. This one here. Okay, go ahead and invert this mask. Okay, so we're back to how we were before. Let's go ahead and turn this layer on. Let's go ahead and play that again. Let's see. Okay, so now we're not seeing that line anymore again. So, as you see, you have to duplicate these layers and just use mask to cover some of those other pixels. Composite brush is good, but you just have to know how to use it. You don't really have to do much with composite with the super comp this time just because some of these effects will be far away and you won't really notice them much but i am going to use them just to color match them to the background because as you can see this looks too bright so you have a little bit of more bluish okay so that's how you would add some of these meter effects and anything that you want to add to this composite Maybe on the third tutorial we'll be changing some of these signs, adding something different. If you like these type of tutorials, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm always going to be uploading stuff like this. Alright, well, thanks for watching.